Hey guys, Gary Dean. Um, I wanted to talk to, th this is the untold truth and detailing situation. I haven't done one of these in a while, but I wanted to talk about, uh, you know, again, as I get questions asked to me, I write them down and, you know, as they're asked, I put a mark next to each one and as they accumulate, I figure out which one's most important. And lately I've been asked a lot by a lot of people because, you know, this time of year people are starting to think about going into business for themselves in the upcoming spring season. And so people are trying to gear up to, you know, start that business and, and really have what they need to, um, you know, hit the hit the ground running and and make some money you know the problem is people most people can't distinguish between their hobbyist mentality and a business person's mentality so they're out there buying up everything that all these big companies are telling you to buy and you know all your your bandwagon friends on the internet they're just telling you you need this you need that buy this buy that well you're wasting money i would say find something you like use it a lot and then you'll be able to use something that you enjoy using but at the same time you're making money on it instead of having 10 of the same thing or 20 or 30 of the same thing on the shelf. But where I'm at now is I've been asked recently a bunch of times, um, people are sending me information about you know where they're trying to start, what, what their business names are and domain names and that kind of thing. I want to specifically talk about, I'm going to talk about both things in the same video because it's important. Um, your business name and your domain name. Um, I don't want to talk about websites in this video. I'll do another video for that. But specifically your business name, it needs to be catchy. It doesn't need to be funky catchy. It needs to be catchy, understandable. Uh, which means like, you know, you want to make it personal. So like Gary Dean detailing and I'll, I'll tell you that evolved and I, <laughs> I went through a few names for my business. It was premium mobile. So actually it was uh, first class mobile detailing when I was in Virginia. It was uh, premium mobile services when I moved here to Florida. Uh, then it went to premium custom detailing and then it went to Gary Dean detailing. Through that I figured out what people were looking for when they were searching for a detailer. And for me, I wanted to get personal with it. I wanted I wanted it to be more personal than just having a generic name. Like, uh, I mean, I don't know, like, like Subway or um, uh, Hardee's or McDonald's. Well, uh, McDonald's and Hardee's may be people's names, but my point to you is I think that I feel it should be personal, especially if it's like just you in the business or if you're going to be involved in it. I believe that building a brand with your own name is very important um, or at least putting your name in with the other name. For example, Gary Dean's DetailJuice.com, Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation, Gary Dean's Wash Method. Um, I think that putting your name in is important if you're going to be the guy, if you're going to be the face of the company, you need to put your name in it. And it can be funky. Um, like I, my, one of my, I wouldn't call him a student, but one of my customers and, and a pal of mine, a good buddy of mine, uh, Justin Chevrette, uh, in, um, New Hampshire, he was going on and on and on about how he felt like Chevrette auto detailing or Chevrette mobile detailing was the name he had to have but he goes by chubbs like that's his nickname and you can't really go wrong in this situation in my opinion um whether he does the chubbs rubs situation which is funky it's a funky personal name chubbs is his, you know it's a nickname uh chubbs rubs kind of giggly makes people laugh and you know I, i'm into that chevrette auto detailing that would work too 
Um, I, I really feel like Chubbs Rubs, in my opinion, uh, because I like fun and funky and fancy and, you know, well, not necessarily fancy. That would be more simplistic. But I really like uh, the short names. I like the direct to the point names. Um, I like personal. I think that these are all good qualities in a quality business name. Um, I don't like super long names, uh, mainly because when you're trying to give out an email address or a domain domain name, I just feel like the easier people can jot it down or remember it, the more likely you are to get a callback from it. So you want to keep your domain name as short as possible. You want to keep your business name as short as possible. Um, and I believe that it should be personal. And I also believe that if you like fun and funky, like I can tell you that when I was, when I started my detailing company here in, in Florida, uh, I really tossed, and this was before I had come into my own. It's before I became, um, uh, b before I found my signature, if you will, and I was going to call the company Magic Hands Detailing. Um, some people didn't like that. Um, I ended up going with something that was more traditional, premium mobile services. And I, I just, uh, I, I feel like Magic Hands, like that signifies a, per a, a craftsman and then you add the auto detailing or mobile detailing to it and it becomes all that you need. But if I were gonna do the business name, Magic Hands Mobile Detailing, that's gonna be really long for you to put out. So you, as far as a domain name and uh, you know, as far as just writing it all out, so there's nothing wrong with abbreviating that. So when you go to buy a domain name, you could do mhmd.com or something like that. So my point is, I'm not trying to like tell you what you need to do with your business name or whatever, but if it's long, I would think about trying to shorten it down and you can do that with an acronym and, you know, uh, letters that equal the big spelled out situation work fine. Uh, I would just think about doing that because it'd be easier to put it on a card, easier for people to remember, um, you know, less confusion when someone's looking at it. Uh, if it's on vinyl, laid out on, on a window or something like that. Um, I just, I, I'm, I'm all about simplicity and the, the KISS method, keep it simple, stupid. Um, I run my business by that. And I just, I like short and tight. That's important. Um, so... Keep your business name as short as possible. Keep your domain name as short as possible. And, you know, make it easier to understand. It can be fun and funky, but short and to the point is always better. I mean, that goes the same if you're like making yard signs. You don't want it to, to say a ton of different things. Um, you want it to say detailing, phone number, maybe a web address, that's it. You want people to see it and and uh, record it in their uh, in their noggin, so that's important. Um, and that's really all I got for you is just keep your business name and your domain name short, so that your email addresses are short, so that people can remember it uh, a little bit better. And that's just something you know over the course of of time that I have um, begun to understand a lot better as time went by. Now, when it comes to going from premium mobile services to premium custom detailing to Gary Dean detailing, I didn't shorten it up. I just got more personal with it. Um, and what I'm saying is skip the trying to figure it out. This, that's what these videos are about is don't necessarily worry about figuring it out. Just watch these videos, get the answer from me. And my answer is, be personal, be short and to the point uh, from the beginning, and that way you don't ever have to change it. And so that's, that's kind of where we're at. Um, I got more videos coming. Uh, thank you guys for watching these videos. If you got any questions for me, 
4406. But those are my thoughts about your business name and um, with the domain name. Make it personal and make it say what you do. It needs to say what you do when someone says or reads the business name or the domain name. They need to know what you do or it's confusing. If it has nothing to do with what you do or who you are, it doesn't make any sense. It's not right. So um, just keep that in mind. But if you love it, let me know. If you don't love it, I don't really care because it's the truth. And that's all that I tell you guys is stuff from my experience and that's what matters. So thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.